Good morning, Afton. It's December 7th, 2011, and I'm Tim Forsyth. And I'm Andrew Douglas. Hey, Tim, did you hear about the guest speaker we had last week? Uh, Derek Blasberg? Did yeah. you do a story on him? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's check it out. Recently, a 2000 Afton alumni, Derek Blasberg, visited the high school to talk to students and answer a few questions about his life. Oh, the TV show. So, Les Chuck has a TV show. It's called 24-Hour Catwalk. I'm a judge on it. In January on Lifetime, check their local listings. <laughs> <laughs> That's my biggest regret, y'all. I wrote two yeah, books, and they've done very, they've done pretty well. They're on the like the bestsellers list, but they're not, they're not in the Twilight or Harry Potter realm of money making. So if I could do it all over again, I write a book about a wizard that turns into a vampire <laughs> that falls in love with a mortal. But when I moved to New York is when I stumbled upon this whole sort of other... When I grew up here in St. Louis, I thought, like, high fashion was the mall. So when you move to New York, you realize that there's all these other industries, all these other designers, <coughs> that there's, like, fashion weeks in Paris, that there's fashion weeks in Tokyo. So um, when I figured that out and I discovered it, I was very intrigued and excited about it, and I've sort of stuck with it since. Derek studied at NYU and majored in dramatic literature and journalism. He has done work for Vogue and Bizarre Fashion magazines. Also, he has written two books and edited as well as contributed to several others. I think ultimately, in those sorts of competitions, if you're happy with your own performance, and this sort of goes not just for like class rank, but with a lot of things, I was happy with what I did, and so I wasn't sad to be second. I mean, I think ultimately life is a race you run with yourself, so that's all right. For Cougar News, this has been Andrew Douglas. Yeah, so uh, Derek was a pretty cool guy. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, so uh, how about that volleyball game? I enjoyed it a lot, but I know some people didn't get to see it, so I did a recap of it. Hey, Afton. I've got the story behind the game and some cool highlights. Uh, we do that as a fundraiser for the boys and girls volleyball program. That's so it's a fun activity to get people interested in sport volleyball. Uh, yes, we will. We had a good turnout. Uh, we'd like to get some more teams next year, but we have a lot of students and a lot of fans. Uh, it was a good year. And of course, the students won. For Cougar News, this is Tim Forsyth. And the students win again. That's two years in a row. Yep, it was a great game. So, uh, have you heard of this uh, variety show thing going on in, on in February? Not much. Let's go to Boyan. He's got the story. Hello, Afton. Do you have a talent that's like so at all? Well, I have good news for you. Theater is hosting a variety show. So, how did this all come about? Let's find Um, it will be presented February the 4th to the public. What made you decide to uh, do the show? Actually, I didn't decide. It was uh, the idea of Pam Knox, who's a volunteer. Her husband, Larry, is on the school board, and they decided that they wanted to have a community variety show, and they came and asked if I would, would sponsor it and support it. We know how this all came about. Let's see what type of talent they're looking for and how can you apply. So what type of talent are you looking for for the audition? Uh, we are looking for anyone that can sing, act, juggle, uh, anything like that, uh, short monologues. Uh, the only thing that we are not looking for are large bands or bands in general. Uh, what would they have to do to be eligible? Uh, all you have to do is come and audition. Uh, it doesn't just have to be in hi or Afton High School. It could be in Bayless, anywhere around Afton. 
Who would they talk to to audition? Um, they can come and talk to me, Trista, or Jack, Nathy, and we can give you some information. And we're also going to have flyers around the school. This is Brian Katanait from Cougar News, signing off. Okay, Afton, did you know that there was a new rule made saying we can't have blankets at school anymore? I went to Mr. Beerman to find out more about this rule for you. Why can't we have blankets at school? Um, there was concern for uh, identification of someone if they happen to do something seriously wrong or dangerous. Um, as far as identifying who that was, if they had that blanket wrapped around them and covering over their head and heading down the hallway. So in that regard, there's a concern there. Is it a safety hazard? Oh, uh, you can say that it's possible safety hazard also if it gets uh, wrapped around, tied around something that it may uh, end up uh, harming someone. I think so. It, it, there's a possibility of that. And it, it all stems back to, once again, uh, the safety of the school and the other students that are in the school itself. So what are the consequences for having a blanket? Well, we're just going to confiscate the blanket first offense, and if someone does it again, then uh, we'll look at other detentions and things of that nature as far as uh, punishment. Make sure you leave a hoodie or jacket in your locker just in case you get cold. Back to you, Tim and Andrew. Poffrin's having a movie night. Marina did a story on it. It's a Friday night. All alone. We've all been there before. It's a real bummer. Don't you wish you had plans? Well, you're in luck. Paw Prince is having their very own movie night. We will be selling last year's Paw Prince magazine. And you must pay a $3 donation towards Paw Prince. There will be concessions in the cafeteria before the movie. The sponsor of Paw Prince and also the host of movie night is Mr. Kozak. What movies are going to be showing? Uh, well, we're going to be seeing The Dark Knight, uh, The Lion King, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Inception, and The Other Guys. When is movie night? Uh, it's December 9th. We're going to start at, which is a Friday, we're going to start at around 5.30. So the latest movies will be out about 8. From me and the rest of the Paw Prince staff, we hope you come to movie night and have a wonderful time. For Cougar News, I am Marina Nichols. Well, that's uh, two days from now. I might have to go see it. Yeah, I don't know if I can make it. Anyway, that's all we got for this week, Afton. Stay classy.